My name is Shane Meadows. I am the co-founder and co-executive director of Advantage Lancaster, a nonprofit for young people trying to help them seek higher education opportunities or post-secondary opportunities. The past year and a half, the COVID-19 epidemic has affected our organization specifically in just ways in which we mentor and connect with young people. It is very hard, extremely hard, to make connections with young people through Zoom. And so I would say probably the hardest thing to do um, through this epidemic is creating new relationships, um, building on bonds that we had in the past, um, just being able to touch your students, give them a hug or a high five, and, or, or, or just sharing meaningful experiences in person. And so we lost out on 18 months or 19 months of being able to share each other's stories, give each other hugs, laugh, smile, and basically have in-person programming. Advantage Lancaster's relationship with Dr. Hamlin is, is a personal relationship first. Um, so Sharice and I, we are both um, founders of nonprofits that are run by African American and founded by African American people. So we connect at a certain level through that. So we talk to each other about advice on how can we collaborate or even, you know, what are some pitfalls in a nonprofit world that we should be aware of or what are some grant opportunities that we should be aware of. Um, there'll be opportunities for Advantage Lancaster students to work for Patients Are Waiting. So as an educator for 20 some plus years, so I work with children. I'm a sixth grade teacher as well as a nonprofit co-founder. So I thought it was really important for me as far as me being safe and uh, being in the classroom with students as well as my mom is in her 70s. I just lost my dad and I just felt like I wanted to hug my mom. And like I said on a Zoom call, you can't hug your mom on a Zoom call. You can't wipe away tears on a Zoom call. And so I knew as soon as I got the opportunity to get vaccinated, you know, I was going to do so because I wanted to be safe for my family, for the students that I taught, but on a personal level for my mother. Um, I wanted to be able to be with my family. And you know, it was a no brainer for me in that aspect. As far as the pandemic affecting communities of color, anytime you have um, extreme situations like a pandemic, not like we have these all the time, but it's always going to affect communities of colors or those underrepresented in life even more than other communities. And so I would read on, on, in the paper or see on the news um, the numbers and the disproportionate rates of how it was affecting um, people of color. And so I thought it was very important for me to do my part in making sure that I was safe and making sure the people in my family um, could be safe. Um, I just thought it was just really important for people of color to take it seriously. I'm very optimistic um, when I look at what patients are waiting are doing, is doing. I mean, they're mobilizing. I mean, every weekend you see them offering the vaccine to people. And I'm not sure what the turnout is, but they're not stopping. And so that gives me hope that, you know, there are people out there that are continuing to fight and, you know, get that message out that the, that the virus is real. And if you want to be safe, this is an option for you. So I'm very optimistic as far as I do know that there are healthcare workers and there are people that are, you know, still fighting the I got to bag it up. Hey, what up, hey, what up? Hey, Let's go. Yes. Oh, look. it's Happy Friday. Yes, week five. We are here, Christmas Addicts, the Health Equity Music Festival. Let's go. Are you guys excited? I, I'm so excited. Swim Goods performance you tonight. You guys should be excited. I'm yeah. excited. Yo, we, Kyrie, we, are you excited, young man? We got this young man up here. We got young Kyrie up here. First of all, Kyrie has been here every week. He has. Weeks one through week five. Two. Week three, week four, and week five. How, how have you been enjoying this? This show, this show been amazing. I liked it. Yeah, it's a great show. Yeah. Good, good. So, is this? I hear this is gonna be your favorite night so far. I feel like every each night gets bigger and better. Like you know, it just gets more intense. Like who are they gonna have next? Who are they gonna have next? Oh yes, they're coming next. It, it just all adds and comes together. It's gonna be exciting. So yeah. we, we were talking about report cards earlier. Yep, we were. We were. We were talking about report cards because it's that time. Mr. Kyrie over here. This, he posted his report card. What? He posted his report card. He, he had the courage. 
Yeah, my report card is amazing. I've been paying attention, listening, and getting my work done, and getting some good grades. That's right. Yeah. Straight A's, wasn't it? Yeah, it was all let's, B's let's, and all A's. Let's pull it up. Yes. I'm going to pull it up. Row. I'm going to pull it up, all right? So uh, tell, tell the people a little about how old are you, Kyrie? I am 15 years old. What grade are you in? I'm in ninth grade. I go to McCaskey High School. All right, ninth all grade. All right, all right. Shout out to you in the don't report card. I know high school is, is, a, is a tough time. Yeah, it is. So are you, uh, are you virtual or are you in person? We are in person. Oh, wow. So you got to get up every morning and show up to McCaskey yeah. High School. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, I'll let you read off some of his grades. All right. So uh, if for our age group, this would be like distinguished honors, y'all. It would be. Uh, we got, we got, <laughs> we got skills prep. We got an A. Fitness, we got an A. Social studies, we got an A. Algebra, we got an A. Science, we got an A. Art, we got an A. Like, it, yeah. his report card says, there ain't no other, ain't no leather, ain't no other letters in that alphabet. Right, that, those are the kind of let's report cards we let's like. Give it up for we like report cards that that, that 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 tells you to scream. Ah! So, so shouts out to you, young man. So, so what do you got planned for the future, Kyrie? So, what do you got planned for the future? I'm so what, do, what do you want to be after high school? I want to like become become a teacher, teach students about math, learn how like multiplication, yeah. division. Addition. I want to at least learn people like how to read books. And not read books. That's, That's nice. Up. We need That's more teachers, up. especially teachers, teachers of color. We do. Not teachers of color. So you keep striving, keep pushing, man. We appreciate you over here at TCP, man. Yeah. I'll be watching the TCP network every morning, and it's amazing. I know. He'll be watching during school hours. Yeah, we got to talk about that, Kyrie. <laughs> yeah. How you watching us in school? I be getting all my work done, get it all caught up, and I could be on my phone. And uh, wow. I be watching TCP See? Network every morning. Look at that! Oh, that make me feel oh, good, man. man. And you Ky know what? We were saying that, so I'm glad to hear you uh, uh, let us know that, Kyrie, that you're getting your work done before you tune in at TCP in the morning. I appreciate that. Thank you for joining us, Kyrie. You yes, have a good night. Enjoy you. your night, Kyrie. Thank you. Thank you too. Let's give it up for one more time, y'all. Everybody watching on, on the TCP Network, come on down to Christmas Addicts. Come enjoy the amazing show. Come get some good food. Come get your flu shot, your vaccine. It's going to be a great night tonight. Yep, yep. Hey, oh, man. we're here at Christmas Addicts. Come That's on right, down. Eric, we in here. Right, and it, it, it ain't raining. It's not sleeting. There's no snow right now. It's clear. Sky's a great time to drive over. We're about to have a good night by Swim Good. Yeah, everybody watching, come on down. Christmas Addicts going to be a great night tonight. It's Friday, y'all. It's Friday. Yes. Let's yes. go. Let's go. And don't forget, we got the 360, the 360 photo booth here, and that's always fun. So come on down, get a shot in the 360 photo booth. Uh, you can also get some makeup tips with Makeup and Magic with Melody. She's here tonight as well. So uh, yeah, come on through. Oh my goodness! And you know what? Let's not forget our friends at the LGBTQ Plus Coalition. Yes, let's yeah. go. Yes, making yes. their first night out. Let's go. Woo, Give it up. Woo. Woo. Yeah, come yeah. on over here, Karen. Yeah, look, come sit down. Yeah, come on down, Christmas go Addicts. Come, seat. go take, go in the photo booth, get We're some good pictures, post them, and Karen, tag the Snapple Effect. All right, guys. Uh, we want to welcome Karen Folly here. Thank you for joining us. Karen, Karen's actually here. She got a table here tonight. Yes. I mean, we've missed you uh, all these weeks. You haven't been here, but I'm glad you're here tonight because you got know. some awesome treats. We do. So we have uh, free at-home HIV kits. Oh, my We goodness. can give them to you discreetly. Um, we also have free COVID tests, actual COVID tests for free. So please come on down. We also are launching our LGBT health needs assessment, which is very, very important for people so we can get some data so we can help our people. So come on down. You know what, I'm, I feel like an old person because tell me more about this, at, the, an at-home HIV test? Yes. What? Hold on, because now I wanna know, can I get like a syphilis test at home? Because now I wanna know our, because then that takes me down yes, to- Yes, you can. What? Yes, you can. I know. So they do sell at, you know, so like CVS, We'll sell the STI yeah. kits for home. We will look into getting some for free. Um, but this is um, 
something where you can um, administer the test at home and then you send the send it away for lab results. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, wow. How, about how long does that take? About one to two weeks. Oh, okay. So that's the, that's like standard. Yeah. Oh man, that's awesome. Yes. I, mean, I I love that technology has come so far. I know. Oh my goodness. It's and you know what? I love the fact that. We always talk about um, marginalized groups and getting care from health services and those types of institutions. So even uh, even if you're are or aren't an LGBTQ plus you know community, just the Everybody fact of having needs to, to be getting tested. Right. Everybody, we're gonna make it sexy. In fact, if you're not getting it, you're not you're not with it, right? right. So, That's right. and that is the real the reality is that like a fifth like a five mile radius around McCaskey High School is the hot spot for STIs in Lancaster County. So we need to be getting our kids tested and making mm. it mandatory, ideally. That's a hard uh, conversation. I don't know if parents are ready for that, I don't Karen. know, but I'm just saying, may as well get it checked out. Um, but then soon we will be having a blood drive as soon as we can organize it, um, along with free STI uh, testing. And, you know, to also bring to light the discrimination of, you know, our, the LGBT community being targeted for, um, Basically, federal regulations still are saying uh, men who have sex with men cannot donate blood without without being three months celibate. Oh my goodness! Yeah, and that this is, is a gift to us after being changed in 2015. Before that, you just couldn't. And so clearly, it's not just about. And you know what's interesting is that we literally just had a story talking about the shortage of blood and how people it's aren't a donating crisis. blood. Yeah. 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 And it's like, well, you have silly rules like this. And what else is on the books that could be that could be, you know, making this worse? Yes. And we are willing to show up despite discrimination to share resources because that's what we're supposed to be doing. I love it. I <laughs> love it. I'm, I'm still floored about this at home HIV test because I mean, it's hard to have conversations with people. Well, first of all, I think that if you can't have a conversation about an STI test, yeah. you don't need to be having it. That's the first. That's the first step. Now, if you are, you should feel comfortable enough talking about your status or maybe even getting tested together with your partner before you engage. So everybody's on, everybody's on the same playing field. Yep. Everybody's, and these are conversations that we need to make comfortable and we need to make them, you know, regular conversations in our communities. Yes. So yeah. That's, how did everybody get here? We all got here. The rows were totally fine. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on down. Don't Come be on scared. down. Listen, Karen yeah. got great information. There's STI test here for HIV, and then there's also the free COVID at home test. Especially if you guys plan on traveling, it is Black History Month. I don't know if you guys are going to be traveling this month, visiting different museums or exhibits, but um, yeah, you definitely might have to get a COVID test. Yeah. So, or if you have plans on going anywhere, so do they expire, or how does that work? I don't know. Um, I highly doubt they will expire before you need to use one. However, uh, I just also want to thank United Way for d donating these to us. Uh, really appreciate the generosity. That's awesome. So what's up and what's in store with the LGBTQ Coalition? What's some things we can look forward to? Uh, well, we are signing our lease tomorrow on our community hub. Yeah. About time. Yes. Ah. So we are creating the community hub right downtown. Um, we're not disclosing the address just yet, um, but we wanted to create a hub so that we could create a model for all nonprofits that are working with our mission for an equitable Lancaster County where all of us can live full, courageous, and authentic lives. So low cost rental for nonprofits and entrepreneurs, and we can work together toward progress. I love it, and you know what? I'm. I, I love that you're having like a community hub and I'm, I'm hoping that we can have some more community conversations about how we can support our extended community. Um, because I know some things that people don't know is that at, at least as far as like black people go, a lot of our LGBTQ community and transgender, they face a lot of discrimination with police. They face a lot of discrimination with housing, jobs, you know, as far as maintaining employment. And I mean, I'm pretty sure that probably goes across the board. You know, if somebody yeah. finds out you know, you're transgender or something like that, you could lose your job. Yeah. And that's still something that we're dealing with in what we call the new millennium. Yep. So it's it's crazy. So I'm hoping that we can have some more conversations and start to make sure that we're breaking down these barriers. Because people don't know that they have these bias until we kind of show them the mirror. Yep, exactly. So. How, 
How has COVID affected the things you guys have been wanting to do over the past? Like, <laughs> like that's what I'm curious about. Like, has COVID has yeah. taken its toll on everything? How's it affected the way you got the way you got, you you all operate? Well, I mean, we basically launched right before the pandemic hit. So, like, oh, we man. are yeah. So we're basically have our launch party, then we have our big VIP sponsor party, and then it was next week pandemic. So, like, all the sponsors were like, see ya. Oh. Um, so we've been running basically throughout the pandemic and um, we we're able to, again, with the help of Lancaster Cares and United Way, give out emergency funds, working on mask distribution. And then um, we've created our first subsidized housing program. So for affirming, for an affirming home for anyone who's maybe sheltering in place in unaffirming environments or just maybe need some help. So we are launching our second house now. So. Good awesome. stuff. Awesome. All right. Oh, I, so I have to mention, oh my God, Cherie would be so mad. My co-founder, Cherie, Dr. Livingston, and I, we have founded, along with um, Dr. Lake from LGH, uh, many other wonderful providers, an LGBT health consortium so that Ooh. we can connect providers, identify what research needs to be happening. Uh, again, please take the health needs assessment if you're in the LGBT community or share with family and friends. It's on our website. I'll share the QR code soon. Um, but basically, we need research. We need to educate our doctors, and um, we would like to provide that for doctors and other providers, so that our community members are not continually the ones to educate their doctors. Right. Yeah. No. No, I right. agree. But I, yeah. So I'm just excited that you guys are doing this, and you know, it's always important to see a need, fill a need. Right, and as my handsome husband co-host says, you know, get active, get involved, and this is awesome. And everybody loves talking about the people in our community and how Lancaster is so welcoming and it's this and it's that. It's, it's because of people like you, Karen. Yeah. And Dr. Livingston and Dr. Hamlin, <laughs> like going out here and making the things happen. <laughs> I know. I'm so, so happy to be here. So, so good to see you. All right, guys, look, come on down. Talk right. to Karen. Yes. Come Thank on down. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. 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 Thank, Thank you so much for joining us. Yes. Listen, guys, come on and get these free COVID tests. Yes, come on down. Come on down. I know a lot of you guys are unvaccinated. And that's okay if you're unvaccinated. You can come on down oh, here. here and get vaccinated. Or you can come on down here and get yourself a um, a free COVID test. An at-home COVID test. And I've seen some of these tests. They're expensive. At-home COVID test. They are not And uh, we got at-home HIV free. test down here. Out at a CVS or Rite yes, or anything yes. like that. Come on you down. Want. They have some down here. Come on down. Oh man, listen, we got the Health uh -oh. Equity uh -oh. Music Festival hey, coordinator hey, hey. among us. Uh oh. Uh, hold on. Go. Hold on. Okay. Let's go. Let's What's give it up. up. Hey, Sammy, how you doing, man? How you feeling, man? Week five. Yo, week five. Week five. You ain't done yet, right? You ain't no, tired. You still got we, the gas. We ain't done yet. We ain't done yet. Nah, no. it's been. It's been a very accomplishing feeling, let me just say. Like, I'm tired. <laughs> but, you know, like, it has been nothing but blessings since the beginning. It seems like it's been, I think I heard you say earlier, it seems to be getting better every, every week. You yeah. know, last week we was, uh, I got down last week. Lion week? Yeah. Lion night? Yo, I got down. I was dancing. I was dancing my tail off. <laughs> Listen, right. There were people that were saying on the stream, they were like, yeah, I just got this playing on the speaker. Yes. Like yes. there are people that are just like replaying and watching on the YouTube. Just Los Monstros killed, killed yes. it. Like yes. I think I've seen them before, but like they can't. They played what? Careless Whisper in, in salsa, and I was like, <laughs> and then they gave what? everybody to do a little dance lesson. You got salsa and bachata dance lessons. Oh uh, yeah, it was great. It was great. How y'all feeling tonight? Uh, right now I'm hungry. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with Sophie <laughs> Famous. I went downstairs. That's the first thing I did. I was like, look, I know the audience going to yeah. want to know about the food. Listen, listen, she's Chef Lori from Soulfully Famous is setting up down there. We got some chicken skewers. We got baked mac and cheese, some sweet potatoes, um, some dirty rice. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be great. That is awesome. That is awesome. So, listen, guys, go ahead and show the chef in your life some love. Save them the, the anxiety of thinking about what to cook tonight. And just come on down here. Hang with us. Vibe with us. Listen to us. Swim good. I'm excited. I am super excited. Like, I... Like, I'm not from Lancaster, so I'm still like trying, I'm still getting put on to all of the dope local artists that are around here. Right. And when I looked at Swim Goods music video, like catalog, 
I was simply blown away from the artistry, the, the time that they put into their, 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 just their visual, you know, their visual, their vibe. Like, I can just chill on a Saturday night and just do, or on a Friday night and just like, just vibe out to them. It, it's dope, I'm really excited for their performance. And then uh, next week, we're closing it out with Sir Dominique Jordan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, I'm super excited for that. I've been hearing nothing, but Dom Sir Dominique is gonna come and shut down this place I've heard, so. I'm excited for it. Well, I can't wait to see it. This place has been popping every week. So listen, guys, if you're at home watching, stop watching. Come on down. There's nothing like being live and in color, in person, where the energy and the vibe is. Like, you got to be here to really feel it. Most definitely. These old school gems are killing it right now. So oh, I've, I've been see. vibing since the start. You ready to dance. Hey, look, you ready to start dancing. I came on here dancing. I'm going to leave dancing. <laughs> Well, listen, you guys are doing a great job. Uh, you guys, you guys, what you guys have done to bring this together. Um, what, can we, what are we going to see in the future? Oh, What can we it's, plan for the for, for next event? It's, it, it's it for, well, as we said, last next week is the last week. Um, you know, we're closing out the show with Sir Dominique Jordan. Uh, E-Rap is going to be here again. E-Rap is not here today, but they will be back next time. We have Snap, we have Laheep coming, um, as well as we may be having representatives from FAFSA to come and sign students up to help with a workshop in order to complete their FAFSAs for school. Um, so yeah, that's coming up uh, on the last week. And then uh, if you wanna check out our lineup, if you wanna check out what you need in order to get the services you need, go down to healthequitylancaster.org. Healthequitylancaster.org, check out the Facebook event page, check out Patients Are Waitings page, you can get all the updates there. You hear that, y'all? Get active, get down, check it out. Look. Um, Oh man, so I'm sorry, for springtime, all right? I'm thinking about springtime, I'm already thinking about the warm weather. Oh, I haven't been thinking about warm weather since the first snowstorm. All right, I'm thinking about the warm weather. All right, we're gonna hit the streets, right? I wanna do a block party. Yes. I wanna do, I wanna take Health Equity Lancaster to the block. I wanna shut down this four, <laughs> I wanna shut this down and I wanna have a Lancaster oh, block party. Man, we gonna do a block party, we gotta do it right. We gotta have food, music, Agreed. the jump house. Agreed. and everything and I want the cars to be moved I want the cars to be moved at the expense that I will tow your car I, I agree. that's the that's the uh that's the R word in we me. get we get the street shut down for like yes. four hours and we have yes. ourselves a block party I mean do it boy I'm thinking six hours <laughs> till six to midnight be able to drink on the street and everything listen when Dr. Hamlin and I were first thinking about this you know when we first looked at the numbers you know we felt that we didn't have the luxury to wait and actually properly plan this out because numbers were rising, people are getting sick, hospital beds are filling. So with springtime being out there, maybe we could plan a really dope health equity block party. Yeah. What do y'all think? I like it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I do. It I like, like that every, there's a surge every time when the seasons change. Right, so, and with different holidays and everything like that, so I think it's right on time for something in the spring, summer, block party, start people gathering, like it's gonna happen, so let's keep vaccinating. Most definitely, let's, let's, let's keep vaccinating, let's keep, keep educating ourselves, preventative care, that's what we need. We need preventative care and accessibility to resources. Come on down and get your resources. Yes, yes, absolutely. Thank you so much, Sam. Nah, thank y'all, I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you. Right. Well, thank you, we appreciate you. The community appreciates you. Hey. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Let's go. All right, guys. We got another interview coming up. We are Let's here right. at the Health yep. Equity Music Festival live at Christmas Addicts Community Center. Come on, get on down here. Swim Good's going to be performing tonight. We got Swim Good live. So, Listen. we got a, a young entrepreneur here. Yeah, we got DJ Double O, DJ Double O up here mixing. So, yeah. we got my man DJ Double O, he over there. I go by name at DJ Two Real. I am no stranger to the Lancaster game, the Lancaster community. Right now, I'm out here with these great people running the 360 photo booth. I'm having an amazing time. If you're watching this, I'm not sure why you're not here watching us live. You should be here. It's like a free show. Right. And you can get vaccinated and get your booster shot or you get your flu shot. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. Not at all. So you've been here for all five weeks. How's it been for you? It's been, it's been, actually, it's been great. 
Um, not only do I get to see different acts go on, I get to meet those different acts um, for upcoming events. Uh, it's just good to see everybody come out, be in the community, do something good, and just uh, network with everyone here. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's right. So, yo, have you ever been to an event like this? Like, have you, have you been to any kind of event like this before where you get vaccine and a free concert? Like... No, actually I haven't. This is actually the first of its kind. And we were actually kind of skeptical on how it was going to turn out. But shout out to Sammy. I don't know where Sammy's at right now, but Sammy's been doing an amazing job. Every single event has been getting better and better. And I hope that it continues. Like someone needs to pick this up if it's not going to be Sammy himself and just continue to do this. It's a good, di it's a good due diligence. And it's, uh, it's just becoming better and better every time we do it. I love it. And I love that idea of continuing to keep it going, even if we're not doing uh, COVID vaccinations. It's something else that we can address. There's always health disparity, so there'll there's be something. There's always help that can be done in the community like this. No matter how you look at it, no matter what the terms are, there's always help that you can do. So if you have an idea, I guess, what, shout out to us? Get to us, get to Sammy, and we'll see what we can make happen. Awesome. Let's go. Awesome. All right, so how has, COVID, how, has, how has COVID impacted you over the past two years? So for me being a DJ, normally doing like live music, uh, COVID actually stopped my business because we weren't allowed to gig out for the most part. So everything became virtual. And for me, that's very hard because I need to see the crowd in order to pick my music. I can't just go off of a playlist. I feed off of the crowd's energy. I feed off of like what you're tapping your, uh, your foot to, what you're nodding your head to, and what people are dancing to. So for me, it brung my business to a complete halt. All right, all right. So, what can now, now? What can we expect from you going into the spring and summertime? Like, what are you bring? What are you bringing up? So, going into the spring and the summertime, there's a lot of different projects I'm working on. As you know, I'm the official DJ for the Ripple Effect. Uh, we have plenty, plenty, plenty of events uh, here in Lancaster. We're probably going to be doing stuff out towards Reading, as well as we have our um, our events down in Miami. So, you can look out for those type of events. Also, too, uh, I'm part of a couple personal venues out towards the Reading area. So, you can see me working there a lot, doing a lot of events there. And the 360 photo booth is new to me. It's something that I just put out there, and it's actually uh, it's a very good attraction and it's gaining traction itself. Uh, I've been booked here for the past five weeks. I'm booked tomorrow, which is a Saturday. I'm here next Friday, and then I'm booked again on a Saturday. So it's uh, it's been a great attraction. So when I'm not DJing, I'll be there running my photo booth. Yeah, all right, so where can, where can people hit you up at? How can they contact you? You can contact me. Well, firstly, I can give you my business number, 610-905-4138, or you can get me on Instagram, DJ, uh, DJ 2 real uh, That's DJ2 underscore R3AL. All right, all right. Awesome. Yeah, let's go. Thank you, man. We appreciate Thank you. you. Keep Thank doing what you. you're doing. Stay positive. Thank being great. All right, listen, guys. We still got more vaccinations to give out, so come on down here and get vaccinated, um, or you can get boosted, or you can get a flu shot. But, hey, if you're not interested in either of those options, it's just cool to come on down here and listen to the music and get down with the vibes of Swim Good. They'll be going on live at 7 o'clock. So come on, get down here. It's not raining, it's not snowing. So you might as well uh, hop on in the car, and get it warmed up, come on down with the children's. Uh, you know, save yourself some time and energy. I'm sure if you have not started cooking dinner by now, you probably won't. So you might as well come on and get uh, some food from Soulfully Famous. Oh man, the, so the food for Soulfully Famous. I'm ready to go downstairs. My already. goodness, yo, yo, I was just by the stairs. And, and took a whiff and was like, sheesh, yeesh. Yeah, 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 ready ready for it, here for it. Folks, we want to welcome you to week five of the Health Equity Music Festival. We got some good stuff in store for you today. Setting up on stage right now. Hey. Setting up on stage right hey. now, we got spoken music, yo. You want to talk about a vibe. You uh, want to you want to talk about a vibe. Yo. Yeah, spoken music. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so give give talking give, to y'all on the screen. Give, give the man his flowers like look, like look, folks. Really come on down to Christmas Addicts. If you um if, if you haven't gotten your flu shot yet, get your flu shot. Um if you haven't uh if you haven't eaten dinner yet. If you haven't eaten dinner yet. Don't go to Red Lobster. Like, look, nah. Red Lobster fell off. All right. Ruby Tuesday fell off. All right. Outback fell off. 
All right, so come on down here, get yourself a meal that you can then put in the fridge and enjoy tomorrow. Amen. <laughs> Cause those 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 be the best ones. Those be the best ones. Like, look, I'm a I'm a like, you gotta talk to yourself halfway through the meal. Like, you know what? This is so good. I'm not gonna finish it. But if I eat too much, I'm not gonna have a lot for tomorrow. So you know, I'm satisfied right now. But it's so I'm, good. I'm mad that I can see people in the audience nodding their head. Yeah, of, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, I'm just speaking. I'm I, I'm just speaking facts. They're like, yep, yep, that was me last night, player. So, so yes, yes, like, folks, Sophie Lee Famous oh, is the one. And are we giving out tickets tonight? Are we giving out tickets? I, I mean, we can. We can. Bring, bring your behind down here and say TCP sent me, and you get yourself two free oh. tickets. That's all they got to do. Oh, no. Two free tickets to what next week? Oh, uh, oral oral tradition. Yes, with yes, Charlie, the sights Charlie and sounds. Austin. Yes, yes, yes. Come on down. Come on down here. We will give you two free tickets to next week's event at the Ware Center. It is going to be an amazing yeah. event from 12 to 1. Yep. They have the arts and crafts for the kids. And then beginning at 1 o'clock begins the oral traditions. Yep. I mean, amazing, amazing. Yep, so, yep. again, folks, come on down here. We are giving away two free tickets to next week's event yep. to the and Ware Center. Come on down, yep. find one of us. Pull up. Me, Pull up. Uh, Week five, Twice six. Or, the right, Sarge. Sarge. And just say, you know what? Y'all told me to come down here from the stream. The Sarge or the Surge. Whatever you want to call them. However you want to call them. I can either be the Sar your Sarge or I can give you a Surge. <laughs> surge of energy, I got it. No. Thank it. Yo, I just want to say, shout out to you, man. I am digging. I am digging the, the suspenders, man. Oh, stop. Yo, but but look, but look, but look, but look right. Nope. I don't think anybody else peeped it. I don't oh, think anybody God. else peeped it. Y'all peep. He got the blue fire going on. Like, that was, that was intentional. That was intentional. Five Beta Sigma look, representing. I had a white, bluish shirt. Uh-huh. But it's a little snug. <laughs> it was gonna dry too long, right? It was gonna dry too long. I tried to put it on, but I was like, nah. Yo, talking about that, I want to, I want to debunk the myth right here, right now. For all those people that thought that polo shirts don't shrink in the wash. Lie. That uh, yo, yo, it's either that or I'm getting swole, and it ain't that. So then it's they shrink in the wash. That's what it is. Yo, yo, I I had a feeling because I was like, yo, my uh, you, do, you come out like this. Yo, I, <laughs> like, uh, uh. all right. So um um uh, folks, we are going to um uh, talk about um our our COVID our COVID experiences. Uh, we we went throughout the weeks, um five weeks now. Um uh, talked about talked about people's um uh, experiences with um, COVID, um, how, how COVID has, has touched them. Uh, you two talked about it last week. And, um, and, and I will share my story, um, my story today about how uh, uh, COVID has touched me. But first, before we get into that, we have, oh man, one of my, one of my favorite artistes <laughs> Can't even call him an artist. You got to put that accent. You know, Artiste. one of my favorite artists. Put the thing above the E. Yeah. The yes. I, the yes. I, the accent above the I. Yes. In, in the city. Sarge. Sarge. I'm gonna let you introduce our guest and uh, uh, um, interview him because yo, from what I heard, Lady L, from what I heard, I heard that they used to battle. Listen, back and forth. I would like to tell everybody that, but I'm telling everybody that right now. But Cisco songs, though. Like, do you got to grab them? It, it, it was all Cisco. Neck? It was all Cisco. <laughs> like, I can hit only certain notes sometimes, all right? Right, right. Like, certain songs, I'm like, oh, nah, that's it. <laughs> all right. Certain songs, not all songs. All right, so God. then y'all used to battle sing, like, on uh, Day 26 well, when you know, uh, making uh, a band. We, we spent a lot of time together. We did track and field together. Dig it, dig it. We were uh, throwers. You know, uh -huh. shout out to all the throwers out there. Dig the it. Throwers world. Dig it. Uh, we, even, we even ran a relay race. Ah. Uh, I blew it for us at the end, though. Man. I you, I was running with the baton, uh -huh. and the baton hit the fence. And you dropped it. I No, the baton hit the, <laughs> no. the fence. The fence hit the baton <laughs> out of my hand. 
So the fence was like, you know what? Let me. Where that fence came from? But and who put the fence there on a track next to a lane? It was horrible. I was so embarrassed. We were winning. <laughs> well, but, um, well, right. yeah, yeah. Let's bring hey, him let's, on in. Yeah, I want to give it up to my man, uh, Buddy Rock. You check, know, check. Yeah, been watching him do it for a while. Like you, from from back in the day when when his beard just came in. Like he's had that beard since like eighth grade. <laughs> like his beard's been growing since eighth yeah, grade. Yeah. He's got it. You know, I'm I'm happy. I'm excited for this man. I'm excited. I'm excited for everything he's got going on. Thank and you, for what the future holds. Thank you, so, brother. So, everybody, put your hands together for my man, Buddy Rock. <laughs> hello, hello. Hi. You like that intro, <laughs> man? That intro, right? No uh, pressure. <laughs> what's up, brother? How so you doing? So, what's up, man? How you been? Yo, man, chilling. Just came back uh, right before COVID, moved back to Lancaster. I was in Puerto Rico for a little bit, living with some, uh, living with some artists in La Perla. I uh, was in Philly doing my thing up in Germantown in North Philly for oh. a long time, and that's, you know, Keys and Whitney came down there and in, in North Philly when we were there, the first, one of my first singles that I had in 2012, oh, maybe. It was a long, oh, long man. time ago. Yeah. We, we, we talking pre-kids. Yeah. Almost pre-kids. Oh, you yeah. had them in a happy time. That was a fun time. Yeah. No kids. <laughs> yeah, man. But yeah, I, I kind of transitioned a little bit. So like, got rid of the Buddy Rock moniker. Um, and now it's Angel Rafael, and I've been Angel doing Rafa some. Uh, well, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm gonna say it right. I'm gonna Angel Rafael. Uh -huh, yeah. Bang. All right. All right. Yeah. So I've been doing a little bit of producing and stuff, traveling around, and um, in the in the moment, I'm right now fundraising to do a documentary uh, based off of um, a political upheaval that happened in Puerto Rico in 2019. When I, right right after I got into PR, man, I was like hanging out with some of the leaders there and the. In, of the revolution, and I was really blessed and privileged to be there. Really blessed. Man, what, what was that like? Because around 2019, it yeah. was still like, uh, it was still wild. It was still wild. It was like right after, they were still recovering from the hurricanes and everything. Yeah, and so, so, pardon me. So they, there was a guy named Ricky Rosselló, who was the governor of Puerto Rico, and what ended up happening is there was chats that leaked out to the public, which was really saying some nasty things towards Puerto Rican people. And, and that's, this stuff, was, that's stuff that we don't hear, though. Stuff that they didn't play mainstream. They don't, you know, they don't tell us. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. So if you're not grounds, ground, you know, feet on the ground, you ain't going to hear uh -huh. it. And it's nuts because, you know, Puerto Rico is, you know, you have, the, you have the, the metropolitan area and then you have the mountainous area. So it's very diverse, not only, you know, musically, but also politically. And that one thing united every single person. You go to the north, you see hashtag... Ricky Renuncia, you go to the south, you see hashtag Ricky Renuncia anywhere on the island, even in the mountains. I was going uh, with one of my homies, uh, one of my mentors, a photographer, and we would go in abandoned buildings that were destructed and still destroyed two years after Maria, and we would go in there, explore, take photos, and in those abandoned buildings, you would see hashtag Ricky Renuncia. It's wow. nuts. Wow, so that really became a bit like a big movement. Uh, when COVID hit, how did that affect the movement? How did it affect the movement? Yeah, at that time. Man, yeah, well, Puerto Rico got hit really, really hard when it came to the pandemic because tickets were like 20 bucks. So everybody was going to Puerto Rico and the numbers just went through the roof. And so their curfew was, um, was pretty intense. They had a curfew from like, I think it was like eight o'clock. Nah, maybe I'm lying. I think it's like nine o'clock till five, something crazy and they'd fine you a lot of money if they caught you out. So, um, yeah, Puerto Rico, the, co the, the pandemic was really intense for them. Yeah. Oh, wow. And you know what? I, I'm glad that you said that because now that I think about it, we even for us as a news net outlet, we really haven't talked much about COVID and how it's hit the islands and, like, how, how people on the islands are managing, and especially for Puerto Rico in particular because it is a U.S. territory. So the idea and expectation is that they should have everything that we have here. And not only that, but they should be having some of the same rules. I mean, but here on the mainland, we have way confused. So <laughs> what are the people on the island supposed to do? Exactly. And, and their, their facilities are not as upgraded as ours. I actually had um, an acquaintance of mine who was a mutual friend um, of one of my good friends in Puerto Rico. And her husband is an actor who was an actor let me say was and he was only in his 40s and he passed away because the facilities in Puerto Rico were mm. not 
mm-hmm. good at but, all. And uh, that's a th- that's a whole conversation exactly. and situation piece about U.S. owning Puerto Rico and, uh-huh. and that that's a whole thing right there. That that's yeah. another lawsuit that we probably need to talk about as far as U.S. citizens suing the government because Puerto Rico is a whole situation in itself. Very complicated too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah prior to the pandemic, uh, there were, we were talking. There were talks on fixing the infrastructure and the the power grid. You know, doing all that. And like even the hospitals, like not having enough, you know. So I can only imagine what it was like when we talk about here and here, here in the states, running out of ventilators. You know, I can only imagine in a country like what's in the country in a state, uh-huh. you know, in a state that's surrounded by water, you know, that that's forgotten. You know, like the big government forgets about. Well, there was. Do you guys know the term autogestion? No. Autogestion mm-hmm. means you know to kind of self be self reliant. So there's a big kind of movement in the mountains in Puerto Rico of people actually taking over schools that were abandoned. And these communities will go into these schools and have community meetings. There is a town called Arjuntas in Puerto Rico that actually got all together and they, uh, with the help of some people, and there's a climber named Alex Honnold, you know who he is? Crazy climber. But he came and he donated solar power and solar energy. So now that the whole Placita in Arjuntas is totally solar powered, because like you said, the, the infrastructure in Puerto Rico, what happens is even just like a little bit of rain in some places in the islands, the power goes out. Mm. And when the power goes out, so does the water and the wow. sewage in some places, not all. Wow. And we're in 2022. 2022. We're in 2022, and there's a state, there's a state in these great United States uh-huh. that, that doesn't have these, these basic life essentials. Yeah. You know, that you would think is a basic right for a citizen of, of, of a country. Insane. You know, how great are we? How yeah. great are we as a country? <laughs> you know what? That, that's, a, that's a whole thing in itself because in, when we're talking about the needs of, of the island, especially during, we're in the middle of a pandemic and even CNN, MSNBC, like what resources have been allocated to the island? How are they managing? What are their numbers like? What are their vaccinations like? It's crazy because we had a conversation about, you know, the doctor's coming together and taking the initiative to vaccinate their own communities, mm-hmm. I'm wondering what's happening on the island. How are those doctors managing? And then how are we getting COVID tests to them? How are we getting treatment to them? How, how are we supporting them as if they were a part of the connected states? Yeah, I mean, that's why I, pre- that's why I appreciate y'all because we tell our own stories better than what they can tell our stories. So, you know, having right. tcp right. And, and having stuff and this for is a conversation us. right because yeah. now that somebody may be watching this may not know might be like you know what let me call so and so that's back on the island i haven't talked to them and, and uh-huh. since before covid had happened and maybe maybe that that's the thing that they needed to push them because in it's so easy especially as americans to say well if they're not talking about it on the news it must not be happening if they're not talking about it, it must not be going on the uh-huh. issue is, is that mainstream media our issues are not important to them Who's on the island? A bunch of black and brown people are on the island. Oh, yeah. a bunch of people that also are not speaking English are on the island. Uh huh. You know, like things that here that 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 divide us on on the mainland. You know, and mm-hmm. this is just this is something that has to be addressed. This is a conversation that needs to be had. Come on yeah. back, Biden. Biden, where yeah. are you? <laughs> but when Despacito hits, ah, viva oh. Puerto Rico, uh-huh. all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to be talking about it a lot. Yeah. So, yeah. so when you sing, you know, do you, do you feel that? Do you feel it from your ancestors? You know, you let it out. When like, I sing? Yeah, when you sing, yeah. When, oh, yeah. That's, that, uh, there's a homie of mine that I di- actually, during the pandemic, I directed a, view to vi- a music video called Una Voz by Diego Romero. And he is um, from the island, and we did everything virtually. And, like, I wrote down all of the drew all the storyboards and he was a real huge part of me connecting back with my ancestry because he taught me a lot of things that you know there's not a whole lot of paper in Puerto Rico that's not something that you also think about the books that are in Puerto Rico don't transport out as much because it costs a lot to manufacture them so he was something that really connected me back into my ancestry and helps fuel my fire as well to sing Good, man. That's good to hear. So what, what can we expect from you going forward? Like? 
Um, so going forward, man, I'm, I'm doing a lot of music videos. I invested during the pandemic. I invested in the camera, which, yeah. was, <laughs> which was huge um, for me personally. And so I've been doing a lot of music videos, doing a lot of photography. The music's still popping. Um, I actually did a music video called Hard on Fire with uh, with Perseus of Swim Good, okay. where we went up to the uh, we went up to the Appalachian Trail. It was 16 degrees, and he filmed me going into the water singing my song. Wow! 16 degrees. The water was it was so cold. My my beard was frozen. Did you were you hitting higher notes though? As as you, the deeper you got, <laughs> yo, did it get? Th there was places it, of me that disappeared when I went into that water. It was crazy. Oh my yeah, goodness! it was freezing. Degrees. Well, listen. Um, Yo, thank you for sitting down with us, man. We appreciate yes, you. Thank you both. Thank you for and joining like, us. I love you, brother. You're my brother, man. I love like, you too. Forever, man. Keep going. Keep uh, keep being great. Um, hopefully, we get to hear you sing you know, something tonight, all right? Yeah. Bro? Thank you all. Right. Y'all are, are, are kicking butt. Listen, I'm just singing your songs in my head right now. I'm just... <laughs> y'all got to hear him sing. I'm going to drop his music one of these days. But listen, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Go ahead and share the stream. Don't forget, we are giving away two tickets to the Wear Center uh, for... The African Oral Tradition. Uh, so yeah, up. we are here at Christmas Addicts Community Center. Hey. Yes, yes, we got swim good up there. Yeah, killing getting it. ready to perform. Yes. Getting ready, setting Doing up. The last bit of sound you, check you know before what? they start. The first time I saw them perform was at uh, Tell Us. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was like, who are all these brown people in the band playing these instruments? What in the world? I can't it. believe it. They, they were you know, going we. Back. Yeah, uh, had, had, had him down. And then don't collection. forget, we got the 360 photo booth. Yes. You know, we just had uh, the DJ here who runs the photo booth, so that was super exciting and dope. Yes, we got the Lancaster LGBTQ coalition here. Yes. Look at them; they're set up. They have their at-home COVID test and at-home HIV kits. All right, yep, so check yep. them out. Also, and out giving out vaccines. We got Perseus here getting and, ready. And then we got our winner, of Makeup and Magic with Melody. We got Brit Fit. She's up there getting her makeup did. Uh, and then we have people, you know, th those are actually some of our doctors. You see Sammy yeah. uh, have the, the vaccinations in their ice box. We got uh, our uh, photography people. And then we also have makeup Look, and magic. There goes magic. our winner from last week. Give it up for Brit. Look at Melody with makeup Fit and magic. Fit by Brit won the Yeah, makeup, she kills it every uh, week. Yeah, the makeup makeover for last week. Oh, man. So, this is getting lively. It's going to be a good time tonight. Make sure you guys yes. come out. Come out. Come out. Come get vaccinated. If not, come down for the music and the right. 360 photo booth. Right. All right. Come out. Come for the food, the medicine, music and medicine. Vax music, baby. medicine, and the turn up. I can't wait, y'all. Yo, Vax come that thing down. up. Yo, man, that's my show. B-A-B-Y. 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 Oh, that was, that was yeah. Yeah, just to let y'all know, like, it, it, it is about to be a whole lituation up in here. Uh, there's there's them, the collective. Man, I cannot wait. Uh, we got we got my uh, my sister friend, my blood down. sister over there. We got Mel and Britt. That's my unicorn sister. Right, right. Like, it is, it is a whole vibe down here Woo. on this Friday night. Good morning, Lisa Kionis. What Ooh, up? Good morning, Lisa. Glad that you could join us she tonight. Didn't, she didn't even say, ooh. <laughs> well, we didn't, you know, welcome. Ooh. We didn't shout right. out anybody. We right. didn't do the good morning. Good morning. Good evening. We got, we got my big homie over there, Marquise. What's Marquise going on, Marquise? Hey. My man. Hey. Go. And then, go. Go. And then we got the young scholar, Kyrie, in hey. the building. Hey. 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 Let's not... Let's not forget about um, uh, let's not forget about one of uh, Lank's up and coming photographers, Madison. Yeah, where's is Madison? In the building. At? Yes, Madison's yes, in Mad building. Madison Five is in the weeks. building. Yes, she, she's gone. Yes, look, look, we 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 constantly constantly play play her content on TCP in the morning with the uh, testimonials uh -huh. for patients are waiting. And everything. So, and then those you know, uh, are photographs from the. Oh, from those the photographs were amazing. Yes. Oh my gosh. I was like, oh, I need to send these to right. uh, Wilhelmina for my baby. They look good. <laughs> my children looks good. Amazing. Yes, yes. We we are down here at Christmas Addicts, celebrating Yo, celebrating uh, health equity, celebrating small business, uh, celebrating health, 
celebrating wealth. It is it, it is a vibe down here. It is. Yo, I was my my vibe went down like five points after they stopped. Uh, doing a little sound check. <laughs> they sound check. My 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 energy went up like like Yo. twenty five. Yes, yes, and folks. And then they stop. So why y'all playing with my emotions? Folks, play with my emotions. Um, uh, we got we we got none other than the great Buddy Rock opening up. Yes, how about it? I cannot Ooh, wait. I'm so excited. You know, um, it's it's funny. It's funny because like you know, I I have no problem. I have no problem fanboying, fan, fanboying, fanboying, and I mean put it correctly, fanboying over you know our regional artists. I I I have no problem doing that. Like yo, give give our folks their flowers now. Like if an artist is dope, let them know tonight. Right? Right. right. I mean, if somebody if if somebody is doing something right, if somebody is doing something good, like it takes a lot out of them to consistently get up and do that thing. And for you to praise that person, it takes nothing but two seconds. But that two seconds of a compliment could mean the world to somebody. I mean, people people will watch before they say it. People will watch. Right. They won't they won't hit that like. They won't hit that share. Right. They, they won't even tell you standing next to you, hey, I think you're amazing. It, and that's what people that that's what people need to hear. Even even our teachers, yo, shout out to our teachers because that's a yeah. thankless job. Like how how many of of our students today say, you know what, thank you, Mr. So and so. Well, <laughs> thank I, you, Mrs. Such and such. Well, we have teacher friends, so I see their post about how they get little tr trinkets for teachers' appreciation week. So I try to make sure I get our kids teachers stuff during teacher yes. appreciation week. So yes. it's usually like a gift card to the uh, wine and spirit store. Ha! Because they need it. <laughs> <laughs> well, all my teacher friends, they seem to like that, so I give it to my kids' teachers. Hey, why not? Why not? If you are a teacher, there is one thing that we can guarantee in the state of Pennsylvania. What's you that? are a club member Whew. of wine and spirits. <laughs> <laughs> we know it. They need like a teacher. They need a teacher's card. Like, be a right. budget. Oh, teacher, show your teacher ID. Get twenty percent off. Right. Sure. They can't even get pencils in the classroom. You think they got a bunch of trouble with Folks, that. folks, we cannot wait for oh the music. Oh my gosh. Yes. Man, man, it's a whole vibe. Come on down, Christmas addicts. You know we here. We on here. Howard Avenue. We're going to get to the music real soon. This is uh, TCP in the morning, man. Hey, what? Yes, what? yes, yes, yes. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. I love it. Yes, yes. So, um, Lady L, um, uh, before we get into um, my story about um, uh, uh, about COVID, um, for yourself, how have you been surviving during this Omicron wave of the pandemic? Uh, I think I need to go back to my alpha variant uh living style and that means that i need to uh with that alpha wave living style i need to go to my 19 i need to go to my 19 different uh grocery stores and need to keep that going because they could probably uh yeah so I haven't been managing too well. It's kind of depressing. You see the that uh, sucks. You go to the grocery store and the aisles are bare, and I'm like, "What is going on?" Oh my goodness! And the other day, I had a moment the other day in the grocery store because you know I'm still like grieving and everything like that. And so I get there, and it's like maximum of three chicken items per household. And I, I just couldn't how believe it. How do you limit chicken per household and you go to a restaurant and order as much? You can still go to a buffet. I don't know, but I just sat there and I looked at them chicken gizzards like, and it, it just took me back to, you know, grocery shopping with my Did mom you get the gizzards? Them. Did you get them? I did not. My husband does not like chicken gizzards. <laughs> I do not <laughs> like chicken gizzards. But mm. why? Right. Don't, don't, don't gizzard me, bro. Yo, and I used to I used to like get chicken gizzards and I would fry them up. And you were like, "What is this?" I'm like, "They chicken gizzards." I have them with some hot sauce and everything. My my then boyfriend did not appreciate chicken gizzards. <laughs> and your now husband don't appreciate it either. Still doesn't. 
Red flag. <laughs> no. Yo, and my kids don't. My kids don't even know chicken gizzards. They yep. they all they just met um, oodles and noodles. What during the pandemic? I hate it. I hate it. And that was always a weird conversation with my relatives. And I hate that it. was a weird and and with Omicron variant, I've gotten more oodles and noodles. But I that's hate a conversation it. that I felt awkward because when my people would be like, you know, the kids like oodles and noodles, and I'm like, my kids ain't never had oodles and noodles until today. <laughs> <laughs> until COVID, <laughs> my kids had never had oodles and noodles. And now they're fans. <laughs> no, oh. just the one. Oh. No, Shiloh will not well, touch it's, no oodles. It's good and during noodles. a pandemic to learn struggle food. <laughs> no, struggle Shiloh, food Shiloh will not touch no oodles and noodles. She was like, oh, these are no <laughs> Shiloh's not touching them. When the she likes them, Shiloh's not touching yeah. no oodles. She look at them. She won't. So, the sooner you get your kids comfortable with struggle food, the less, <laughs> the less likely they are to be picky. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm just saying. Kids are less picky when they eat struggle food young. I'm, well, well, you know oh, what? We better I go get some Murray's fish sticks. I w- oh no no nope, some nope. fish research. patties nope not on duty not and on duty we even had them fish patties with no bread or not nothing on y'all duty. how was our parents not giving us fish patties with no bread not on duty not on duty fish I'll, patties yeah not on duty. what fish patties really? we had Murray's fish patties so imagine like fish sticks it was like four fish sticks but it was made into one big fish stick kind of sorta but yep I like a fish tender uh, kind of like just a big square fish. I think I might have been good. And so, and we never had that with no bread or nothing. I'm just like, man. Oh, man. Like, why was our parents doing that to us? Trying to do us dirty. I'm not going to lie. I, I haven't introduced my kids to liver, but I don't eat beef. I don't like liver either. I mean, I can eat it. But I, So, I love liver as a kid. Liver and rice. What? Oh, my goodness. It has that, it has that taste that. I don't know. Uh. I, I thought it was delicious. If I still ate beef, I, that might be the one thing that I that that I could probably yeah, uh, get down with. Some cow's liver. That that even oh, sounds like you shouldn't be eating it. I'm like back and forth, up and down, front and back today. But um, all right. So my Welcome COVID back. story. Yeah, go ahead. All talk right. about your story. We were just right. talking about uh, cow's liver. Oh my. <laughs> we talking about struggle food in the pandemic. Cow, so cow's liver is, is struggle food. She said liver. I have no idea. What was about liver with some? Yeah, she said uh, no. liver with white rice. rice. She said you know what? Back in the day when she was a three out of four people in my family ate liver, and I was that fourth person that didn't. And everybody loved liver and onions. Like, look, here goes my sister right there, Brittany. Didn't everybody love liver and onions besides me? Yeah, yeah, and like he like consist. Yeah, and like he like dead. Dad like consistently made it like every Saturday, so every Saturday I just didn't eat. I mean, if someone sees that liver up, I would have been there. <laughs> Still tastes like liver. Like, like yo, I, 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 I could not take out of my mind, you know, Hannibal Lecter. I ate his liver with some fava beans. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you want to see that bad boy up, right? Because I ain't gonna hold you the way he was eating that brain. I was kind of like. <laughs> Like, you know what? Maybe. You know what? It looked like some gristle, you know, like you just <laughs> on, a, on a piece of bacon or something. You just be like, no, that gristle was everything. You'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the only one to be eating it. No. 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 I'm not, right? All right no, no he that. does. I don't mess with that. Why? Look. Look. No, it doesn't taste right. How do you, it's a listen, how do you eat the me. ends of bread, but you don't mess with no gristle? Oh, I don't. Make it make sense, America. Is it red or delicious? What are you talking about? Make it. Oh. Oh, gristle is even better. Yo, yeah, no, and the thing gross. is, I will, I, if I taste the gristle, I'm going to like yo. have that little stomach thing in my mouth. Like, Ugh. But then she'll put the end of the bread and make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and, oh. and the end of the bread yes. with the peanut butter on that. Like, yes. like yo, because oh, yeah, it's, it's strong. <laughs> yo, my, my right. mouth, it my don't mouth rip. is dry just talking about it. Don't it don't rip. It's strong bread. <laughs> she eating the strong bread. Because, you know, you put smear that peanut butter, that joint is gripping. That joint don't rip. She just, it is strong bread. <laughs> I, I, uh, for the record, I want y'all to know I use creamy peanut butter. I don't like crunchy, chunky peanut butter. Hashtag strong bread. <laughs> I have a thing. Yo, where do you guys store your peanut butter? Fridge in it, or in the cabinet? In the cabinet. cabinet. Cold peanut, cold peanut butter rips bread. Yo, I remember one time we used <laughs> to put, all right. we used to put peanut butter in the fridge, and this one time I tried to put it in a microwave to soften it. Up. No, it was struggle problems. All right, I grew up with roaches. Felt like I had to hide everything. Yo, first of all, I'd be upset. Like, how did y'all get in the refrigerator? This this guy <laughs> that used to be my uncle had roaches in his house, and then had the nerve to have smacks <laughs> <laughs> as a cereal. You want to talk about a 
A no. brain a brain F? That is oh, a bad, yeah. bad, yo, bad move. Yo, I'm like, I'm like, fam. Fam. Yo, he probably had smacks too. <laughs> so you know you can't tell. <laughs> no, you look like you black couldn't. <laughs> you look like a black eyed peas. You couldn't. Mm. Folks, I'm gonna be right back and, and and tell my COVID story. I just gotta set something up. Be right back. Lady oh, L. Man, hold the folks over. Oh. Oh guys, listen. Uh, I don't know why you guys aren't down here yet. But uh, we're going to get started soon. But you guys got to get down here, all right? We're going to – Buddy Rocks, he's about to kill it. He's killing it. Yes, Man. I can't wait. I can't wait. So, listen, guys, I can't wait to see you all here. If you have plans on traveling anytime soon, you might want to invest in some of these at-home co- rapid COVID tests. I'm ready to go invest in Soulfully Famous' food downstairs. Listen, so I, I was thinking about that food before we left. I was Ooh. like, you know, we was leaving the house. I was like, oh, I'm hungry. I was like, oh, there going to be food there. So yes, come on down here. Soulfully Famous is here. I saw some. I heard Sammy say something about chicken skewers, uh, sweet potatoes, mac and cheese. Because you know you can't have mac and cheese without sweet potatoes. You got to have them both. So listen, come on down. Get vaccinated. Five and older. There are vaccines for children here available. So come on down here and get yourself vaccinated. Or you know, answer, have your questions answered. If you have questions about getting vaccinated. There are doctors here available to, you know, answer Answer. all your questions. There's a 360 photo booth here. So come on down. You don't want to miss it. I can't wait to see you guys. Also, we are giving away two free tickets to the Oral Traditions over at the Wear Center happening February 12th, starting at 12 p.m. We are giving away two tickets. So come on down here and just uh, stop me, my handsome husband, co-host, or Sarge, and just say, hey, guys, y'all said come on down here. That's it. Two tickets. And we got two tickets for you. In your pocket. Um so so um my my COVID story. Um um I like yo, it's it's wild because um I had um I had three people three people in the last two weeks um die from um from COVID. Um I had a frat brother, um I had a a hometown friend, um and I had a friend that I went to college with. Um, all all die in the span of of yeah, um, just a matter of days, to be honest, of each other. And like it just it it really brings it to reality because like these weren't people that were you know sickly people or anything like that. No no um, health issues or anything like that. But what. Um, but what really was, you know, the consistent uh, amongst them, the, the common den- denominator amongst them, you know, and this isn't to raise any fear or anything like that for those watching, but was that they were all anti-vaxxers, you know, and, and they were anti-vaxxers and anti-maskers from, from rip, from the jump, you know, and like it only takes but one time. You know, especially with this this virus and everything like that, it only takes but one time, you know. And, like, you see these people, you know, they talk about it, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. And then all three times, all three times, it was, like, the exact same thing. They talk about it, talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. And then you don't hear from them. And then you hear from their family members, hey, say your prayer for so-and-so. He's on a ventilator. And it just like like it was in the same the same three situations. It was like the exact same story the whole time. They talked about it, talked about it, talked about it. Was against it, against it, against it. Didn't hear from them for like a month. They didn't post in like a month. And then you get hit up by their family members. Hey, say a prayer for so and so. They're on a ventilator, you know. And then a week later, there's that R.I.P. You know, and 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 that's like, that's the like, it's frustrating because it's almost like this could have been avoidable. You know what I mean? Like the science versus the politics of it, and it's 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 selfish. It really is selfish because those people that choose not to get the vaccine. You know, you're putting your life at risk, not just for the next person, but if you choose not to, and then you are taken from this earth, you leave behind people 
that are already grieving with this because of other deaths, and now we have to grieve yours. And it just really feels like, you know, a, a lot of, well, some of this really could have been avoidable. So, folks, you know, um, hear my plea. Like, like, I don't know. Scientists don't know when the end is going to be. We all want to rush to some kind of normalcy. You know, get vaccinated, folks. Get vaccinated, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's my. Oh, um, man. Listen, it, I mean, well, what about people who? I mean, there, but there are a number of people who aren't necessarily anti-vaxxers. They're just like, I'm not going to get vaccinated. Yeah. But then they're also not necessarily living in accordance with CDC uh, health and safety guidelines, right? Making sure that you're wearing a mask and everything like that. And I think that's also an issue. It's like, okay, if you don't want to get vaccinated, that's fine. But don't continue to live your life as if there's not a pandemic going on and you're out here with no mask. You're out here in these streets like you are, in fact, vaccinated. Right. And you're not. People are dying. Like, uh, like I don't want to say, but we're dying with pride. Like dying alone because of their pride. You know, yeah. we kind of had a discussion about this. But you got people over there. You got anti-vaxxers, you know, anti-maskers who will legit... Get the virus and die. They will try and get the virus to prove that they can beat this or however, you know, and, and then die. Right. And not tell nobody, not want to post anything, not want people to come visit them or say any condolences or say that they were wrong because of what? Their pride. Right. You know, um, like for, for India Irie, she put out, she came out yeah. coming at uh, Joe at Spotify, pulled all her music from Spotify because they choose just choose to pay Joe Rogan a hundred million dollars or whatever. Yep. They choose to pay him all this money and he's preaching fake stuff. He's saying he's you know, he's saying he's saying the N word. He's out here doing what he wants. He's making more money than the artist than the musical artist. Right. And who is he? The guy that hosted Fear Factor? Yeah. Yeah and that's it. And that's it. Try to comedy career which failed. Like his, his his podcast is nothing but what, right wing propaganda for the most part. Right, right. Like it, it, I don't know. We have to do something different. Right. People, we have to realize that it, it's not going to nothing's going to change until more people get vaccinated, more people wear masks, more people social distance, take this sickness, take the virus seriously. Right. The science is there. The science is there, Lady L. Absolutely, absolutely. And listen, if you're if you just have questions, it's perfectly fine to come on down here to the Health Equity Music Festival and ask your questions. You know, we have doctors here, we have black doctors here, you know, that can answer your questions if you have concerns and speaking a language that you can understand. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's a part of getting good good care is having that language and being able to understand what people are saying to you. You know what I'm saying? How can I go to my doctor and, and need resources and you're using $35 words? I don't know what that means. You know, I just right. need you to explain to me just what this is. So come on down. Get your questions yes. answered. If yes. anything else, if you are on the fence about a vaccine, yes. maybe you got a new job and they're saying, hey, you need to be vaccinated for this new job. You know, or maybe you're like, oh, I want to take a trip. And you're thinking about, oh, maybe I should get vaccinated because the country wants you to be vaccinated. Whatever the reason is, it's fine. Come on down here to the Christmas Addicts Community Center and get vaccinated. And the music and the music is starting soon as well. Like, 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 like folks, folks in in just uh, let me look at the clock in just five minutes. In just five minutes, we're going to transition to the music and whatnot. So you know, I'm a um, I'm a transition to the background and uh, get get all of that. We'll, well, we'll close this baby out from here. Hey, 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 folks, folks, look, look, Buddy Rock, Buddy Rock is gonna be first. Then we got them, the collective. Then we got Swim Good. This is an amazing thing going on right now. If you're not gonna come down here, share the stream. What are you doing? Share, yeah, share the, the stream. Yes. Drop it in somebody's DM. Page. Yes, yes, yes. Say, so, hey, baby, page. thinking about you. We going to yes. uh, TCP and chill. So uh, go ahead, Listen, team. Um, um, now we're down to four minutes, just to let you know.
The music is lit, folks. Listen, I'm about to yell at Buddy on stage and be like, if you don't sing my jam, he's singing all this stuff. I need him to say what I need him to say. See? Okay, I need him to sing my jam. Oh, um, pump the jam, pump it up. No, no, no. He got some original music, and and I love it. And um, it's called "Don't Go Away." Um, and so I love the song, and I'm like hoping that he performs it. And he's performing all these other songs, and I'm like annoyed because I'm like, I want you to sing my jam. That's it. That's all I'm saying. But listen, guys, you can hear it live. Come on down to the Christmas Addicts Community Center. We're here until nine o'clock. It is week five of the Health Equity Music Festival where our black lady doctors have come together to just make sure that black and brown communities are getting the facts and getting vaccinated and getting access to vaccinations. And not only that, but the LGBTQ plus coalition is here and they have free at home COVID tests. And I have seen these COVID tests in the store and they ain't cheap. They're like 30, between 30 and $50 depending on where you go. So you might as well come on down here, get your free at-home COVID test, and you know, just get ready for, for whatever's coming next for you. And not only that, but something super cool is that they also have an at-home HIV AIDS test. I can't believe that. I feel I feel like such an old person hearing that kind of news. So yeah, come on down, um, get whatever resources you need. Uh, but this is super cool. This is a cool event. And also, don't forget, if you are in need of any kind of makeup information or tutorials, because if you like me, I learned how to put on makeup yesterday. So, which means that I don't know how to put it on at all. Exactly. Because there is some kind of, like, makeup enthusiast on the line. Like, ah! So, yeah. So, if you need any, like, makeup information, you want to talk about, you know, shades and palettes, we have Makeup and Magic here with Melody. Uh, she is live on site. So, you can come down here. Ask her for some tips, tricks, and hints. And then after you get your makeup done or you got your, you know, tutorial done, go head on over to the 360 booth and get uh, your 360 photo done. Right, yeah, come get lit. Yeah, the, pic the pictures are nice, too, if you haven't been on one yet. You're not even going to get dizzy, promise. No. You In the 360 don't. photo, you ain't going to get dizzy. Not at all, not at all. But, guys, I am so excited. I can't wait. I hope to see you guys down here. Don't forget, come on down here. Just pull us aside. Let us know, hey, I was watching the stream. You said come on down. And we got two free tickets for the Wear Center's uh, Oral Tradition Show happening February 12th at 12 p.m. February 12th at 12 p.m. at the Wear Center. We are giving away tickets. So just come on down here and just say, hey, you guys said come on down for a pair of tickets. That is correct. We are going to give you a pair of tickets to February 12th show at the Wear Center, Oral Traditions with Charlotte Blake Alston. Sarge, Austin. what you got for them? Yes, come on down. The LGBTQ Coalition, they have brought these uh, these COVID at home tests, these COVID at home tests, and they got the in-home HIV test. All right, where you can you can purchase these now at CV, so, CVS. So come on down, um, listen, get vaccinated, get boosted. Come listen to some good music. Like yeah. Oh, my goodness. And like you I'm know, get, getting a little jelly. I'm ready. I'm getting antsy myself. I'm ready to get up and sing. Listen, listen, I've been watching the clock. Like, is it time to eat yet? Yeah, that's the first thing that I do. As soon as we get done with the live, you know, the first thing Lady L goes to go do is go and get some food. I'll run down there. I'll be the second, second, third person in line. So hungry. That's what I need to do. Like, you can, listen, you can tell when people don't eat, too. You start getting grouchy. Don't want to talk. We just, we just sitting up here like, mm. Double O got a whole double tray of food. He's about to get beat for a kebab, just a bite. And, and, and see. Bite of your kebab. So, guys, yeah, come on down here. It's a whole vibe. It's a whole situation. Buddy Rock is on stage performing right now. You can get your vaccine. You can get your flu shot. Or if you're already vaccinated and need your booster, you can do that, too. So, yeah, come on down here. You can also get a free at-home COVID test. So if you plan on traveling, even this summer, you know what I'm saying? Get that, just have them in your medicine cabinet, you know, so that when you are ready to go, you can go ahead, got your at-home COVID test in your medicine cabinet, take it out, take your test, and take your trip. What are you waiting you know for? Plan ahead, right. Come on down here to Christmas Axe Community Center and get these resources and catch this vibe. Catch this vibe. It is going Come on down. down. Don't forget, we're giving away two free tickets to the Wear Center for February 12th show, Oral Traditions, with Charlotte Blake Austin. Guys, yes, it is going down. It is going down. So, Sarge, uh, for you, what what week was your favorite week? 
And and what made it your favorite week? I said, what week's been your favorite week so far? My favorite week so far? This week. I got I got my I got my man up there. Right? My man went, went to school with him. Ah, okay. You know, so I say this week. This week is. All right, I like seeing uh, people that I grew up with succeed and make it. So, um, hey, you guys, listen. If you're if you if you went to McCaskey, if you're a graduate of McCaskey, or you you know my man, you know Angel. He's he's putting on, and he's gotten better over the years. He continues to get better over the years. All right, so come on down, come down, watch him, listen, hear him, feel him. Yo, it's a great vibe. All right, so uh, with that being said, but yeah, are we ready to go eat yet? Uh, I'm I'm ready for the music. I'm ready to eat. I'm ready for it all. I'm ready to stand up. I need to move. I need to stretch. You know, when your vibe raises, you want to move. You start getting, you know, your energy levels up. So, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to jam. Thank you, thank you, Let's thank go. You. But listen, guys, you got to come on down. My favorite week was whatever week she had the white rice and red beans. That was my favorite week. Whatever week had the white rice and the red beans. Oh, my God. All of it. I'm ready to go eat. <laughs> Can't stop talking about food. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a shame. Do y'all eat early on Fridays? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> oh my goodness! Listen, I am just so excited about everything that's been going on, and this has been just like a phenomenal last five weeks. It's been it's been over a month that we've been doing this. Yo, to it's been o- over a month now. Five weeks. Week number five. So I'm just super excited that. This has been going down, and just week after week, people are coming down. They're getting vaccinated. They're getting their flu shots. They're getting boosters. Like, people are coming in. They're utilizing the resources. And so, you know, and I love, you know, when people come down and they get, you know, their rental assistance or they get their utilities paid. Honey, you see some of these smiles on these parents' faces because, you know, they take a moment to take their mask off. And then you see a smile just for a brief moment, and it's like, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so come on down. Get these resources. Get your vaccination. Use them. Use them. Pennsylvania has so much money right now. Just sitting sitting in the account that they got from the American Rescue Plan. Right. Or your state. Matter of fact, you don't even have to be Pennsylvania. Wherever you're at, like your state could have it. Right. Yeah, right. Your so state has the funds check. to help. Yeah. So no matter where you're watching from, go ahead and check on the COVID relief funds provided by your state and see how you could get access to those resources today. So... Oh, man. Oh, man, guys. So we do want to let you know that Soulfully Famous is downstairs in the kitchen. We got a couple items that I've heard about are some chicken skewers, macaroni and cheese, some sweet potatoes, uh, some uh, some kind of rice. So, yeah, guys, come on down, grab a plate. And there's also Makeup and Magic with Melody here. So, listen, if you are into sage, crystals, plant santo, um, you want to talk about the energy of vibes and things like that, then come on down and talk with uh, Makeup and Magic with Melody. Uh, so this is this is super dope, super dope. So come on down to the Christmas Addis Community Center. Um, we are here right on Duke Street in Lancaster City giving out vaccinations. The vaccinations are free. The at-home COVID tests are free. The at-home HIV tests are free. The, the the photo booth, the 360 photo, photo booth, booth is free. The live music is free. The only thing you got to pay for is your food. Yeah, you got to have health insurance. Just come on down. Right. Exactly. All right. Exactly. All of this is brought to you by the our black lady doctors. Yes, the women over at Patients Are Waiting, Dr. Cherise Hamlet and Dr. Cherie Livingston. It's super dope. And it's so inspiring. And uh, if you want to help them, visit their website, patientsarewaiting.com, to learn more about how they are eliminating health disparities by increasing diversity in medicine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited. Me too, me too. Um, so, yeah. how you know, how has grocery shopping been? Uh, chipping, you can't, can't get as much anymore, right? Like, I, I've been... Went grocery shopping today. Spent a lot of money. Way too much money. And, and it don't be nothing. It was like heartbreaking. Like, it, it looked like it would have been like maybe $300 in groceries at one time. But now it was like $600. said so $300 in groceries turned to $600 of groceries. Like, Yo, I, I, I used to. So I remember back when it was Marquise and I. 
a week. A week. $75. We'll pay, pay for a week of groceries just for the two of us. $75. Family of four, a week of groceries will run us about $175. For, huh? All right, guys, All right. come back in five minutes. We will uh, be we're back. We're going to be going ahead and getting this stream up with the music. Yes, 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 so yes. Guys, yes. come back in five minutes, and we'll see you shortly. All right, y'all. It's TCP in the morning. We at the Health Equity Music Fest. See y'all later. Hey, 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 yes. Whoa, one time. But this is it. Oh, all right, all guys. Right, so. All well. right, guys. So listen, it looks like we're about to have a performance coming up, and I'm super excited. I cannot wait.